Bro, why don't you tell me the back of my head look dirty, bro? <laughs> bro, I don't look. I wear I my hair like this the all the time. J hits finna drop a bass. Would you say that the corners are probably the area you're most most picky with? No. Oh, that's right. Okay, there's something else, but we'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get yeah. to that. The corners. It's top two. It's top, top two. two. All right. So it's my hair, not just my corners, but my hairline. So I want my hair hairline to look as dark as possible, but but still faded nice. It's complicated. All right. So we're starting off with a number two guard. We uh, I thought I was gonna have to start with a three to keep it darker, but you told me to go with the two, right? Yeah. You told me to go with the two, so. Where, where, where the foundation of this cut is gonna be with the two. I didn't run it through the hairline. I just, I, I'm just running through the sides right now and the back, all the way through pretty much. I don't know, do you think I'm a heavy handed barber? Cause I, this is the good thing about cutting a barber um, as, as a client, but what do you think? Do you think I'm heavy handed? Do you think it's uncomfortable at times? Cause Sai didn't mention something last time uh, when it came down to the fading. Uh. No, there's nothing that really stuck. Like, it was just, it felt regular. It was comfortable. Oh, snap. So, there's a part coming up that I messed up in, right? So, you see I'm balding out. Dre hates it when somebody uses the shaver on the back. You don't want to jump into just shaving anybody. It's part of the consultation. Always ask. You ever seen those clients that have, like, scar tissue? Yeah. It's pretty bad. Like, it can really affect them. Especially for me, like, it's even worse now because I work at the warehouse and stuff and yeah. I sweat more. So, yeah. like, bro, it's just so Like, irritating. you be scratching it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I try not to. Like, I'll just, like, I'll rub it, but yeah. it's no. still irritating. It's, it's important, guys. You don't want to mess around with that. I don't really get white clients to ask me or tell me that they don't they have an issue with it, right? Most most people with straight hair, like they're they're cool, right? Yeah, most of the yeah. time. But the moment you notice that client has curly hair, whether they're light skin or dark, ask. Cause even then there's some dark skin clients, there's black clients that are cool with it. So just ask. Don't assume that everybody's cool with it or not cool with it. Pay attention to that consultation, it's super important. Usually with high tapers, when I do the ball line, I don't go too far into the ear. And I notice that when Basio cuts you, when he does the high taper for this style of cut, he goes kind of like beat like a little further back with mm -hmm. that initial ball line. Any comments on that? Do you do that yourself? Do you do that yourself? Like when you do high tapers on people, do you bring it that far back? No. Why? I just always do it to where the ear connects to the where the ear connects to the head. I don't like bringing it that far back because when I line it up, I want it to come a little bit further. So it kind of gives like a certain effect. Oh, it's like the same way with leaving hair on the neck for the line. It, it makes yeah. the hair look sharper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you, for you, when Basio does it for you, you don't mind it. Or do you? No. Nah. So as a barber, you don't do it because you want a certain effect. But as a client, you don't mind. It. Right. All right. To be honest, when I get my haircut, the only thing I'm worried about is my hairline and my beard. Obviously, I don't want a bad fade, but if my hairline is on point and my beard isn't looking like a roller coaster, that's a shot. We'll talk about him later. You're actually doing a pretty good job. Damn, that gray hair is that there. That gray hair is there. Would you say that gray hair came because of barbering or because of helping 245 and all the things that you do behind the scenes? Yeah, I don't know whose name is on that gray hair, but isn't there's another one like right under the clipper? Oh, 
yeah, thank you. This is important too, guys. Make sure you use, use the trimmers to get rid of that line. Sometimes people stress about how the clipper itself doesn't fade out that, that, that ball line from, you know, stamping it. You know, some people stress on that, but you can come back with a trimmer and get rid of that. Bro, this is the side. This is the side I could have done more detail on that on that, um, on that, that taper. Bro, this is the side because all the hair grows like diagonally. Yeah. It's a pain, bro. Nice like when stuff. I try to cut myself, like that's, this is one of the main reasons why I don't want to cut myself is because of that side. Bro, how many times have you, no, you've been, have you cut you? No, you did one time for a video, right? I've cut myself like two or three times. Bro, you should talk to somebody about that. <laughs> All right, so right here, I don't know if you guys noticed what we're doing right here. Dre is letting me know, do not go past these fingers with the <laughs> one and a half. All right, it was it's serious. Dre was like, bro, I need these corners as dark as possible. So go ahead and even the tone out with the one and a half. You gotta pay attention. Like, it's not always about just following a system, guys. You wanna pay attention to how things look. So like with mustaches on the ends is usually darker, right? Right, and then the middle is lighter. So mm -hmm. on the hairline it was darker. Damn, I almost lost my whole mustache. Yeah, you did, bro. A couple times. Yo, shout out to all the barbers that are patient with their clients when they start laughing. It could be too much. I don't know why every single time I'm getting my mustache done, it makes me want to laugh. I, I mean, I think it just depends who you're with, though. That's true. I, I think, I mean, if you're with a barber that barely talks, I mean, you you gonna be like, all right. Whatever. That's true, because I only get my hair cut by people I know. I wouldn't ask you what you think about when you get lined up, but I know what it is, and it's pretty dark. Yeah. So, yeah, no, let's not go there. All right, so we're on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the beard. Let's talk about the beard. Uh, what? Why are you so picky with the beard? I'm picky with my beard because I wouldn't say I'm insecure about my beard, but my beard doesn't look the way I would like it to look. It's a pretty solid beard, bro. It's a solid beard when done correctly. It connects. When it's done correctly. To your mustache. So like, I wish we could draw it out. But sometimes when I get my, out. sometimes when a particular barber cuts my hair, I ain't gonna say their name, but they work at the same shop that that we work at, and he was featured in the last video because he blew somebody's back out. Exactly. Mm. But he like he hooks it. He hooks it. He hooks so like when you look at me in the front profile, my beard goes down and then it goes back up. So do you think he's trying to like create a half pipe? Like a roller for coaster. For skateboarders? Yeah, like, I look like a ride Harley Davidson. Damn. So one thing I very like I was very, very particular with, I said, Fonz, just keep my beard as high as possible. Like, and then for me, I was like, bro, it's not even gonna look like I did anything to it. But for him, but for him, he was cool with it. So it's like, guys, barbers. Don't, like, the moment the client says, this is what I want, you need to accept that. Sometimes the client just wants it in the most simplest way. So for him, he wants a natural looking beard with the sideburns being sharper. Yeah, for sure. But once you the get- The curve is fine. So yeah. from, like, the, I don't have a C-cut because it's a high taper, but from the sideburn area to, like, anything close to my mouth, I don't want lined up. Yeah, bro, no. I, um, I made sure I didn't, I didn't, um, cross that boundary with you with the beard because I could tell it was really stressing you out. Um, and, and Jay is for the All right, so guys, right here, you got to use your imagination. You know, out of both sides, this is the side that he told me, do not don't chase no line. It's a quick tap and we're gonna finesse it with some, some enhancement, all right?
that drop the f bass. Hands finna drop a bass J Hands finna drop a bass Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the video. Make sure you follow Drake Cut It Out. Whoa. All right? Make sure you follow Drake Cut It Out on his YouTube channel. Whoa. Make sure you follow Drake Cut It Out on his Instagram. Whoa. He's been dropping some things on TikTok. Whoa. More than me. Okay? Are you, anything else? Follow me Are you to on Twitter? The, follow me to the promised land. Jay hits on the...